no gain, thus goes the saying, but when it comes to the brain drain in Nigeria's health system, it seems the gain is for other countries while the pain is for Nigerians. So look at the latest on this perennial topic of brain drain in Nigeria's health sector. And also on The Breakfast, electricity consumers in Nigeria are paying more these days and those in the FCT have decried the increased tariff by electricity distribution companies. But are the tariffs increased justified? And as usual, we'll look at some of the latest headlines on the front pages of today's national dailies in Off the Press. Very good morning to you. We're back with the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We apologize for starting behind schedule. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Ebopo. It's good to have you join us this morning. Fantastic. Mercy. Um, of course, I'm sure you... Did you see any fear accusing cues on your way to, <laughs> Why not? I mean, that has become part morning. of our lives. Okay. Right? That has become... Okay. And uh, at some points, it also obstruct you know, the flow of... Free flow of movement, right? So... Yeah. You know, uh, I, I usually crazy. use a route called Awolowo Road in Ikoi to get to the office every morning. And um, if you go through Awolowo Road, I think you will not come to work really happy. Um, you need to be a very highly self-motivated person to get to your so destination. So you think you're sad happy. now? No, I'm, 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 I'm very highly self-motivated. Self <laughs> I believe I'm able to make myself happy. So, But but today, um, this morning, Mercy, I had to get down from the, the cab that brought me to work. I had to come down and go and tell people you. You know, because of course people would stop driving when we go back. You go this way. So you were. Uh, it happens almost every you, morning. You were, you were controlling the traffic. Oh, yes, morning. yes. I got that. It happens over, almost every morning. <laughs> yes. Why are you just turn time to the office, sit down and do your makeup? Why are you doing <laughs> no, the makeup? No, no, coffee. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, hey, hey, you go back, go back. Coffee. At 6 a.m. Coffee, you, you, know, you, you know how I you. feel very pained there yeah, that you're sounding like this. So, so do you think that I go through less? No, I don't. Oh. Now, for me, I have to, because I can't go down. And then I have to be so agitated. I'm so angry. I'm literally trying to control everybody on the road. What are you doing on the road? Move. And then you get to a point. Okay, for instance, this morning, there's a particular you know, road that I have to navigate my way through. And what happens is you have a filling station. The question, I, I said that out loud. And the driver himself you know, was looking at me like, you know, is so she I okay? So I can get to work here uh, angry. So, so the, the point is, so I'm asking, why do we have to have filling station, you know, gas station, in residential areas especially when the road so you have this one very close to the road and the roads are pretty narrow because these are feeder roads i mean they're not like the express so even even even, even the express you still have you know the queues and what have you so it's it's not even pleasant as much as you think that so i think it's double work for me that i have to come you know show up early and then sit back to you know have my face wear my face your face beat say. your face beat okay mm -hmm. so so um, um this is i mean uh, is an experience a lot of Nigerians go through where they have to, um, you know, not just be in the queue to get the petrol for themselves. Okay, they also have to be in the queue or in uh, traffic because of the congestion on the roads caused by those in the queue. In fact, Mercy had a point. I was on some power, I had to take some shortcut on a whole road. And those on the queue are moving faster than those of us. In, you know, so I told my driver to join the queue so we can move faster. <laughs> he, was, he started laughing. You know, but what's, what we have for you today is that the, we've seen some pictures alleging the protest in Edo State. You know, sometimes this thing can take something small. You know, media can take something that is not as it seems and, and blow it up. So we don't want to be read too much into it just yet. But some people in Edo State film themselves carrying placards uh, and protesting against the fuel scarcity in Nigeria and the economic situation or economic hardship. All right, some, some people, some people went on a protest. Um, on Monday morning, the video, as you can see, shows them setting fire to, you know, tires and blocking some roads in Benin City, the Edo State capital, uh, over this protracted fuel scarcity and the price hike of the product. And of course, also, uh, the economic situation, all right. Uh, a voice in the narration 
or the voice narration in the video said this is a happening live in Benin City. Edo State Capital, huge protest in his words going on over fuel crisis. You can see the protesters are blocking the roads and making fire on the roadblocks is what they uh, they said. Um, so that's that. Um, I don't think this is is much. I think that yes, you know, some people can put fire, set fire to tires, and I mean, one person is not a set fire. I don't think this is a, a, a widespread protest. You know, I can't see that. It's just, just some people. But um, uh, that, that's what we see. That's what we see. I, I'll give you my, my, my thoughts on that later. But Mercy, you go first. Tell me what you think. About this. Well, so I, I think that uh, at this point, because it's, it feels like there's an indictment on the media, I was saying the media is trying to blow this out of proportion. Whether or no, 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 no. I, I'm not saying they're trying to blow. I'm, I'm saying it's, it, it's easy to see this and feel the entire those cities on fire. No, okay, so 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 whether so whether whether or not uh, you know that's the case. The thing is, you have a lot of people. I mean, some persons have taken to the streets, and whatever the reason is, or the reason that that has been stated is that they are dissatisfied. The issue of you know fuel scarcity, the economic hardship has is a reason for this protest. And I read through some of the comments, you know, on uh, different uh, social media spaces. And then some people said, oh, you know, what's the essence of this? You should block the government house, uh, you know, critical sector of the state and all of that and what have you. Uh, that probably would make a lot of sense. But uh, the comments also following the reply to that particular question is that uh, the state was actually on a lockdown, that everywhere, you know, people were really angry. But that's not even the case. I, I like us to cast the minds back, you know, on January the 12th, the first to be very precise, it was the New Year 2012, President uh, Goodluck Jonathan had announced the removal of fuel subsidy. If you remember vividly, adjusting the pump price at that time of petrol from 65 naira per liter to 141, in a move that sparked that mass protest. <laughs> I will get back to this. And I'm sure that Kofi, you know, would have something to say. Uh, if, if you're very conversant, you know, with fear scarcity and the protest, then you remember Occupy Nigeria, which was a social political movement um, across major cities of the country. However, the price was later adjusted to 97 naira after more than a week of protest. It was further reduced to 87 naira per liter. That was in 2015. And fast forward to, you know, 2023. Where are we now? But also, prior to this time, don't forget it was period of politicking and, you know, all of the campaigns. President Muhammad Buhari himself expressed, you know, outrage. And there's a lot of talk that was going on uh, at the fuel shortage and the fact that it had lingered for a week, criticizing uh, President Goodluck Jonathan and past leaders who had failed to fix the refineries. I mean, uh, you know, that was his actually f first response to petrol scarcity that had started. And like we, I mean, from uh, history, it's important that we pay attention to antecedent because you, it would help you understand what's happening in the now. And so if you look at that time, in, in two weeks, all of that was, you know, returned and once upon a time, once upon a time. This is not tales by moonlight, right? We bought petrol at 87 naira per litre. But that's different. And just as Kofi had said, oh, well, you know, the way people are trying to paint the pictures, like, oh, there's, there's a lot of protests everywhere. Yes, you just see one or two persons. Uh, we're not saying that that's not enough. It's okay. Protest is it's a tool that has been used over time, uh, not just in Nigeria. It's just a tool that has been used, you know, to demand uh, from government and demand change and different things in policy governance and what have you but that's the case so so my question is what exactly is going on i mean if you, if you remember 2012 up until this time and you look at what's going on i'm just wondering once upon a time we had petrol for 87 naira per liter if not less and here we are now uh, how much are we buying petrol again remind me there's no uniformity so in some quarters we hear some people are buying petrol for 500 naira i mean that's you know black markets we just the same thing with the uh you know these financial sector where you have the black market succeeding and then uh, they could be selling for a higher price some people are buying petrol for 320 naira what a time to be alive all right so so messi is it's, it's quite interesting you know uh um uh, to go down memory lane. I I'll just add a, a few bits to this to say that, um, uh, first of all, like I said, you know, we need, we need to be careful not to over, to blow it out of proportion. Not to say that people didn't come out 
uh, but there's a tendency to to create panic, you know, and uh, a sort of impression that you know oh, the dust state is on fire, you know. And if you're not careful, some of these uh, soft cell uh, news outlets will go and so it does state on fire as you you shut down state, you know that kind of thing. So it's to to be, have a balance to create a realistic. Uh, uh, um, uh, to show, tell people the, the fact as it is. But um, what I just want to add to this is that, you know, I always say something, Mercy. Uh, are you tired? <laughs> are you asking me if you I'm know, tired? You know, I used to say Am this. Am I tired of what? Uh, of the situation in the country. You know, we, we'd always see... Are with, you not tired? With, with, the, with the elections, yeah? Mm. And we always see with, with the, the, sort of a third force coming up and all that. Uh, I mean, I used to say back in the day, you know, way before this administration, administration came on board, that uh, when Nigerians are tired of the situation or the political parties they have at their disposal, they, they, when Nigerians rise up to say, okay, we want something different. That's the one. Now, number two, with the situation going on right now in the country, the question, you know, to ask is, are people tired of, you know, lining up in the queues? Are people tired of going to the ATM points? Uh, last night I saw a video of some people fighting uh, at ATM machines. They were literally dragging themselves. About several men, you know, muscled men, you know, full grown men, were <laughs> dragging themselves at like ATM points. And you need to see the, the crowd, and I'm sure some of you may have seen these clips, of, of people around ATMs in the country. On Sunday, the videos of people at banks trying to force open the gates to go take their money. So you have the economic situation on one hand, you have uh, the, the, the fear of scarcity on the other hand. We're not even talking about insecurity. Now, there's a, there's a school of thought, which sounds attractive you know, to me, that people are not yet tired. Because if people are tired, there probably will be no election in the country. You know? If people are tired, people will say, okay, you know what, guys, I think we, we've had enough of this. Let's sit down and let's talk. All right? Let's sit down and let's talk. You know, but but I mean, to patiently queue, all right, for months over months, and you're paying as much as 400 naira to buy a liter of petrol, okay, and then you can't even withdraw the money from the bank to pay for the petrol and to buy an ease. Yesterday, someone told me, uh, a good old man, a family man, last night, he told me that he had to, you know, soak Gary to drink. Why? Because the Iyakalaba, he normally buys food from, from Bajulae, okay, in Lagos. Could, he didn't have money to go pay that year because he went to the bank and could not get new naira. And the year Calaba was not collecting old naira. So he had to go home and soak Gary with sugar to drink. That's all he ate yesterday. So we, we, we're in a situation right now in the country where you have money, but you cannot withdraw because you don't see the new naira. Okay? And we're going to begin to see that crowds will be forming in the banks at the ATMs, all right? just to get this money. Another one I saw it last night, someone sent to me, mercy. People are paying excessively to withdraw money from POS um, points. So, 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 I so you have, you know, a lady said in Port Harcourt said she spent 2,000 naira, paid to withdraw 15,000 naira. Oh, that's fair. Someone told me last night, his mother, <laughs> she said he sent her money, spent 1,000 naira per 5,000 naira. You withdraw 5,000 naira, they're charging you 1,000 naira. So, so what I'm saying is that all these things going on, you know, are enough to, in other countries that I see, that I follow, you know, um, they just have just 50% of what Nigerians are facing. And people go on the streets and say, okay, you know, we've had enough. Okay. So I don't know, maybe, maybe there's some, some amazing more somewhere. Okay. Um, that they took the Nigerian map, held it, and he brought incantations, caught a, Abracadab. he brought, caught a white, white chicken, white hen, he sp sprinkled the, the blood on it and said, Oh, cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. and then put, <laughs> put powder, one powder, and did this on the, night, on the map. So people now become, uh, you know, they, they become but, but, oblivious. But, 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 but there's one, things one thing that you said. So, so there's, they, they've done jazz, mercy, mm, juju, juju, jazz, juju, voodoo on Nigerians. No, so, so, but there's actually one thing that you said. You talked about uh, if that's the case, then one will be thinking that the election should not hold. But I don't think that that should be the case. No, I'm not saying election should not No, 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 you're saying... Yes, okay, so, so you right. said something. Words in my I'm not putting words I in your mouth. I from my observation. No, okay. you're saying that... From my observation. If Nigerians are no, 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 no. Uh, I'm sure that that's... Let, let, let me put words in my mouth, my But Kofi... From my observation, please. Okay. Please. In other countries where... You know things like this happen sometimes it's 50 percent and then 
people will say, okay, guys, we need to have a conversation. Okay. Okay? So We don't like what's happening. Maybe NLC, for instance, DUC, NBA, um, and all that. We say, okay, we are tired. We can't, we can't go to work. We can't. What's going on? But, 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 but we are patiently queuing. And, and you know, Fela was not, if, was not stupid when he wrote the song, Suffering and Smiling. So, Kofi, I like yeah. the fact that uh, so, you so, have actually so, put out whatever, so. however that was. I mean, it was okay. Are we not suffering and smiling? No, we are suffering and smiling. Good. But I like the fact that you have, you Good. know, put that, you know, Good. to so, where so, it is. So, because I'm collective sure that, voodoo. So, so what Spell. I'm saying is, what Spell. I'm saying is, prior to the other comments, which you put, it would have just been, you know, that as you what were are your thoughts? What are your then. thoughts? Stop judging. Uh, <laughs> I'm not what judging you I because I was worried. Uh, th th there's no reason why an election should not hold. I'm not saying election no, should Kofi, not Kofi, hold. No, Kofi. So, so let's let that slide. But my point is, there's no I'm reason. I'm not saying election. There's no, there, there's it's no reason why. We're out of time that we need to move on. We need to move on. I'm, not, I'm saying that. Okay, Kofi. In can, can you allow countries, me? I didn't say. Don't, don't. No, don't I, twist what I'm saying, Messi. So, you, so you know that usually Please. when you have conversations, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but I, I understand how it can be when you know we're expressing ourselves, and it's possible that you could say that you know yeah, but that's okay but that's not what i said yeah that's not what you meant okay mm -hmm. so so that's fine that's and i, I understand but my point is i i know that a lot of people have queried i've also seen that thought of line on you know the space and people say you know this is what it should be and this is what it should not be but I, i'm thinking that just like you have said if, if we're tired of what we're going through there's no reason why you shouldn't get your PVC because that's where the power no, lies. No, and, no, and a lot so of people this have is a mistake. This is the mistake we make. This is the mistake. I'm sorry to interject you, Mercy. Please forgive me. This is the mistake we make, Mercy. We feel and we, 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 we foolishly feel, sorry to be that harsh, that democracy is all about PVC and elections. No. A democracy is about telling people that we want things to be done differently. And then you go home. So, so what happens? The democracy is about going to see your senator, House of Representatives, and saying, what is going on? This is how we feel. You so, don't so, you, so, you so, sit so, down so, in so bondage Kofi, for four years. If you feel there's some fire so Kofi, in your I mean, it's a good thing that behind, you said that you have. You go, you go to your, your House of Representatives. You go to your governor. You say, this is how I feel. You don't sit down and say, oh, okay, this fire is going to burn me for four years. Then I'll go and vote. No, 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 can you can you just allow me to express myself yeah, now? Yeah, no, please, you know, please. just put on my yes, You know, I always want to hear you. Explain. No, 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 fine. So, so my point is this: as as much as you think that that's not the way, we, we look at it. Have we not had several protests in Nigeria? I didn't say that's not the way. No, no, Kofi, no. you don't you don't need to answer the question. No, this is a rhetorical that's question. That's what I'm asking. It's a rhetoric question, mm. and you know, I'm not expecting. It's one of the ways. I'm so. not ask. I'm not expecting that you give me an answer immediately. It's one. Anybody. Of the ways. That's what I'm saying. As you're listening to mm. me, and you know, Kofi mm. as well <laughs> is listening. It's not expected that you give me an answer. But my question is, how exactly do we solve the problem, or how exactly do you solve the problem? Now, don't forget that we've had protests. The biggest protest that happened in the history of Nigeria. It's the protest against police brutality. Exactly where are we right now in 2022, you know, 2021 and 2023. What exactly is going on? I don't think we should dwell on that. But I think that prior to this time, I think that society has become very complex. We're growing and then society is becoming very complex from simple to complex society. Because once upon a time, uh, a lot of demands were made via letter writing. Yes, people were writing petitions. People would petition the government. People were writing letters. But that's not the case. And including the policy, the, the, the tool that, you know, a lot of countries have used um, to demand change or demand, you know, different policy and action or express how they feel about, you know, governance and government policies in different parts of the world seem not to have yielded a result. How many times have Nigerians gone to the street and they have been tear gassed or, you know, there's a lot that's going on. How many times has that happened? We take a look at what happened with the hashtag NSAS protest. Yes, we make an excuse that, you know, we're a nascent democracy. But I think that, you know, it would be it. As long as, you know, the critical infrastructure in the country is functional, as long as everything is working perfectly, there is, it's very important that we have, you know, a change of government. And some people would say, you, you know, 
No, no, no. I, I'm, 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 I'm saying. No, no, no. Kofi, that's not what I, you. I'm, I'm, that's okay. That's you, right? That's not me. Okay. I'm saying that that's no, what the people are no, saying. That's what I'm saying. A lot that's of people all. have said that's that. Far from Don't what worry. I'm I probably will not put you in that spot. I mean, that's I like you so much. I'm saying. You know, no, never, never. You, you need to get it right. I'm just saying that these are the thoughts that we've had over time, and I am thinking that. I'm not even thinking. That's the right thing to do. That's what it is. We constantly. And I think I had a conversation Kofi with someone. And see, if, because the situation that we're faced with right now, it feels like we're in a, we're in a helpless situation. It feels like there's no hope at the end of the day. Mm. And so if we get to that point, you have the uh, executive arm of government, you have the judiciary, you have the legislature, and what have you. There, there should be you know, checks and balances. So if the people get it wrong at the, at the ballot box, then what happens to this arms of government? What happens to impeachment? Well, well, we have never seen well, that well, being a see. case. Well, well, but well, we, we, well, we, we need to move away. Okay. Uh, just like you've rightly mentioned, we'll just run through this quickly, Kofi. Yesterday, President, apparently not yesterday, but he would have been in Kanu uh, for the commissioning of uh, projects. Don't forget that he was also in Lagos. Yesterday, uh, you yesterday. know, to, to commission projects. Mm, uh, mm. The president had uh was 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 also in lagos i mean he com commissioned a couple of projects he also was in kanu uh to commission multi-billion naira solar power uh plant in kanu but you know apart from that what was very uh, outstanding it was okay that he commissioned the project was the fact that his convoy i mean the helicopter uh, presidential helicopter was attacked right so uh you, you found there's a video right? i don't know if we can run that up uh you know put that out but unfortunately if we can't i'm sure that you definitely find it or you've seen it already where you have a mob a group of persons throwing stone at you know that helicopter the presidential helicopter very 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 saddening and unfortunate mm. Let me see you know this this uh visit to kano Initially, we had um, Governor Ganduje uh, of uh, Kano State, Omar Ganduje, announcing on Saturday that uh, the, the president's visit to Kano was postponed uh, due to, for security reasons, let's call it that, and to avoid a repeat of what happened in Katsina State. Uh, there was an opera in Katsina State when some residents pro staged a protest um, to register the dissatisfaction over the currency swap, which has currently thrown them into hardship. The president went home to his home state of Kano, and he was met with protests that were you know, uh, some fires were, were set to tires on the road and people marched on the road and all that. Uh, they booed President Buhari, um, uh, you know, some people were saying their political thoughts. But um, that, that is what happened in Katsina State. Forward to yesterday, the president actually did end up going to Kano State. And, uh, well, we're supposed to be talking about the beautiful projects that uh, uh, Omar Ganduji has, um, has used the public funds to do. You know people's money to do in Kano State. You can see flyovers. Uh, there's uh, some hospitals, uh, cancer center, uh, and all that. Very nice ones. Um, but we, what, what, what grabbed the attention and rightly so is the fact that some angry youth in Kano State uh, were said to have thrown stones uh, at the advance convoy of uh, President Buhari during that official visit to Kano State. We saw, you know, some stones on the streets of Kano, interlocking stones as well. So, and um, we saw some pictures of. Uh, stones uh, of a, a crashed windscreen uh, or you know of a helicopter which I, I don't know which helicopter it, that is but the president was uh, conveyed by helicopter you know from the Aminu Kano International Airport yesterday morning to the uh, uh, palace of the mayor of Kano Aminu Bayero uh, you know the fact that he didn't go by road and had to use helicopter to go there I do not know if that is uh, because they did not want to repeat of what happened in Katsina, where stones were thrown at the uh, 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 convoy of the president, you know. So this is this is what we're seeing. Video circulating on social media showing that uh, you know Irid used pelted stones at the helicopter believed to be conveying the president. I mean, you know, if this is happening in northern Nigeria, which is the president's stronghold in Katsina, his home state in Kano, the biggest, the center of the north, then I think it shows. Um, the growing discontent around the country uh won't add what happened in those states to it albeit not widespread then we can say that this is the situation of things in the country very quickly before we go um we'll just play you a clip which uh this one shows um nigerian musical artist uh messi my brother and your brother Iyaya, mm -hmm. uh said to be pushing or shoving a fan of the stage what happened this happened in anambra we'll be right back
right. So, so uh, best of what you very quickly, uh, <laughs> what do you think about that? Well, I, I, I think that it's very uh, unfortunate <laughs> that happened. Uh, not, you know, fantastic. Then I know an artist who's also been, you know, on this particular table, uh, especially when it has to do with fans and respect for fans, uh, is born a boy. So uh, a lot of people think that it was time to justify uh, Inyanya's action. There was also an explanation. He said it that, um, you know, this particular fan was slapping him. He was using the notes, you know, he was trying to spread the money, but he was using the note to slap on his face. And he think that was totally disrespectful. And uh, he, he felt like he had said, you know, don't do that. But at some point, I think he lost his call. And that's what happened. Well, it, it's such a dicey one to say, but what is wrong is wrong. And that's what it is, despite the situation, especially when you are in, uh, you know, in public space or you're, you know, a public figure, as he is. I saw comments. People say, is this not Inyanya that was looking for shows in 2021? You know, because recently he came out and said, oh, God. I mean, there's been a lot of change. He knew how he struggled, you know, to come back and what have you. But right now, uh, it's a different game entirely. And people were saying, I really, how could, how could you allow this happen? How could you have done this? So it felt like it was a justification for the likes of uh, Bonner Boy, who, you know, usually had said that he doesn't want people to walk up to the stage where he is you know while he's performing he said that a couple of times we don't come around right and then he gets angry and you know he pushes the people you know it's, you know it's, it's, it's very quickly we have, bad, go. we have to go we have to go all i will say is congratulations to yanya you are trending <laughs> uh, a Delta police command is saying that he can be arrested if the victim makes a protest for me i would have done the same if i was in yanya you come to me i'm performing on a stage you're not meant to climb you are not meant to climb, that's the protocol. And you climb it and start slapping with money. Okay, he pushed him to go back to where he came from. And, then he and I don't think that was as violent as people are making it seem. No, no, I totally understand. But you, you know, see, but you know, that's for the so, case of so Inyanya. So what happened him. to Bonner Boy? He didn't punch him. He so didn't so how, him. what do you make he, of he the, said, the go case back of to where you Boy. came from? So, no, so you know? what happens to Bonner Boy? Because his, his safety you know, is at risk. You don't I mean, know what it, was in those those notes. We have to go. No, we have to go. But, you know, so this is what it is. So it feels like some quarters get different judgments and others get different judgments. Well, we have to go now. We're really out of time. We'll come back with uh, Off the Press. Please stay with us. Good morning.